welcome back to Bucket List Homestead. And yeah, we are not at home. Today's grocery haul is coming to you from Buffalo, New York. <laughs> if you're new here, my name is Lynn. Welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. And yes, I can finally say this because you will, by the time you all see this video on Friday, I have already been in Florida for a whole day. I am surprising my dad, who turned 75 this coming Sunday. My sister's also flying in. He has no idea. <laughs> we're both flying in tomorrow, about two hours apart. Same airport, which is great. And yeah, we're gonna surprise him. So I'm doing a grocery haul. David, we're staying overnight in New York because my flight is so insanely early tomorrow. And he, uh, we bought a few groceries to take back to the kids. Um, not a whole lot. We plan on when we come back through in a week <laughs> to head back home. I'll show you another grocery haul from the States and hopefully whatever deals I managed to find in Florida. But we did pick up a few things and it is Friday, so I want to show you a grocery haul. So first we went to Walmart and this is what I got. So we got Aiden, his absolute favorite peanut butter crackers. And just a little fact. We have not been able to find peanut butter crackers at home for months. Apparently there's something going on with peanut butter. I figured it was worldwide, but Walmart managed to have these, but they didn't have the mini Ritz peanut butter crackers. So hey, maybe there is something going on with peanut butter. But we picked him up a pack of these. I'll probably get him another pack when we come through, but there's thir um, 20 in here? I thought it was 30, maybe not. 20 pack, so we got him them. Uh, got, we just got one pack of cheese just to do David next week while I'm gone. $1.97 Canadian friends. $1.97, or sorry, $1.79. <laughs> um, I'm taking one of these on the plane with me tomorrow for a snack and then David will take the other two home. Whenever we come, David, this is the only time he eats bologna. He loves to get the Oscar Mayer. Again, this is not something we can get. So we just got one pack. He'll probably get one more when we come back through, but that's it. I just got Gracie seven of her yogurts. Again, we cannot get these at all anymore. We have not been able to get them for, oh gosh, well over a year or more now. And um, so I got her just seven to do her for the next seven days. And I got her a couple of different ones because I wanted to tell me which one she likes. And then we're probably going to have an embarrassing amount next week. I also picked up some of my um, Pure Irish Butter, butter Carry Gold. Uh, again, I cannot find this and the price isn't too bad. I got two unsalted and two salted and I just, this is so good. I just love it. Again, this is new for us. So Grace loves the cashy um, cereal and this was $1.80 <laughs> American. Like that's crazy. So I'm going to see if she likes it. And if she does, we'll probably bring back a few boxes of that. And we got two bottles of water just to have here in the hotel room. And I need a charger that has the little small end there for charging my phone. And I'm kind of embarrassed because I paid $15 for this and then we found one at Five Below for five bucks. So I'm gonna try the Five Below one if it works. We'll set this aside and we'll probably take this back when we come back through next week. So that's everything we got at Walmart. So the next two things are just some fun things I wanna share with you because I went to, you know, one of my favorite stores, Hobby Lobby. But it, it, it's almost overwhelming. There's so much stuff there. I was kind of disappointed because I was looking for a specific brand of yarn that they did not have and all the yarn was on sale. And even if I find it in Florida, I only have a carry-on and I don't think I can fit what I need in there. So that was disappointing. David's checking out <laughs> the hot tub, <laughs> the whirlpool tub we have in our room tonight. But I got a amazing deal at Hobby Lobby that I want to share with you. I got this gorgeous, gorgeous sign. It was 50, it was on sale 50% off. Let me set the game back so you can see that. I love this. <laughs> I know exactly where it's going. And I got to the front and the girl goes, oh, did you notice this little ding here? And I said, oh, I didn't. It was the only one. So she's, hold on a second. She called the manager over. Friends, I got this for $3. <laughs> I could not believe it. So I got that. Um, when I was here last summer, I picked up one of these hooks um, to try and I fell in love with them. So I got the next two sizes I needed, um, 5.5 and 6. These are amazing and they're very reasonable, but oh my gosh, I loved these. So I got two of them. And then for the new herb garden build, David found these in Hobby Lobby. This was $3, a handle, and my eye hook last 
much I need for the door was $4, so not too shabby. And I think I was a very good girl. That's all I bought at Hobby Lobby. That's it, not a very big haul. Wait for next week. <laughs> we have a plan to stock up on quite a few things because we're, we're considering doing another pantry challenge for May and June possibly. Um, or at very least buying very little at the grocery store because we still have a lot to get through before I start canning this year's garden and freezing this year's garden and dehydrating this year's garden. But it's fun. I'm excited. I cannot wait to see my dad's face. I'll be bringing you all along, hopefully. I have a very special trip that I will be going on in Florida that I'm going to bring you along with. I can't wait to share that with you all. And now you know why I was so crazy to get that herb garden build done for you all before I left and why it was only a sort of unveiling because we just ran out of time. So until then, friends, take care. God bless. We'll see you in a week. Bye.